Hi everyone, it's Danny here, and today is the first video of a new series that I am going to be creating, and it is actually my first series. So this series is going to be called Sketch and Study, and it is more on the, not the educational side or anything, I don't want to make this very educational. I think we've already had enough educational experiences in our lives at, during school, but it is going to be just a little bit of information on what I am going to be painting. So the other day while I was painting this study of the monarch butterfly, I actually was thinking that why I wasn't already doing, like why I never had thought about doing this series. And basically why I want to create this series is because every time I am going to paint a real painting, I like to sketch it first in my sketchbook. But before I sketch it, I like to actually research what I'm painting, like researching my subject. And I like to know more background information about it so I feel more comfortable painting it and just so I connect more with it. And I usually do this because I like incorporating nature into all of my paintings. I love nature and I am inspired by it every day. So I think it is just very important for me to know a little bit more about what I am painting and what's just around me in the world in my everyday life. So since I do this already and I research it for myself, I decided why not just create a series about this and every time I sketch something new and I learn more about it, why not just share it with everyone here on YouTube and so I created this new series. So since this is the first episode, I am going to start off with the Monarch Butterfly. So the monarch butterfly has just always had a special place in my heart ever since I was a little girl because I remember being in kindergarten and actually having my own caterpillar which eventually turned into a butterfly and I fell in love with nature right there. Ever since then I have appreciated nature so much and it is something that inspires me every single day. and. I have just become a nature freak and I that I think that's why I love biology so much and I don't know it just it is everything to me. So the monarch butterfly is a milkweed butterfly. They are called this because monarch butterflies like to lay their eggs on milkweed and after the eggs hatch they eat the milkweed. I think the first thing that just stands out about monarch butterflies is their black, orange, and white wings. And these wings are actually used to send a warning to their predators. Monarchs are actually poisonous to their predators because they ingest milkweed. And the poison actually tastes really bad to the predators. So say if a bird was trying to pick at their wings, the bird wouldn't pick at their wings anymore after tasting the wing because it tastes very foul to them and so it's just a really good defense tactic. <laughs> the monarch butterfly is found in many parts of the United States as well as Mexico and Canada. The monarch butterfly is also widely known because of its 3,000 mile journey um, that some of them may take in order to survive the winters. They usually settle into the Sierra Nevada mountains in Mexico or they settle in Southern California where they are safe for the winter since it doesn't get too cold there. And they land in other several places where it is semi-warm for them to stay over the winter. What I also found really interesting is that when they migrate and they land somewhere, they land all in one tree. So I always thought that was something that didn't really happen and I didn't think that was true. 
but I guess it is true and I would love to see that one day so that's on my bucket list. Unfortunately these butterflies are being threatened by global warming so if you guys love nature and would want to save a butterfly out there don't forget to buy milkweed seeds and plant some so you guys can save two or three or more butterfly lives and we can do this together because I am also going to start a little butterfly garden to hopefully save some butterflies and yeah so remember to go out and use your creative imagination to create something beautiful and I'll see you here on my next one. Bye!